What's up guys, it's Maris, we're going to go through all of the weapons in the Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta. We're going to go through the create class menu and showcase all of these weapons, uh, read the descriptions, talk about them, etc. My personal favorites. And then obviously throughout the day and tomorrow, the next couple days, we'll be doing gameplays and I guess strategies on what to use, what perks are the best, lethals, tacticals, attachments, optics, crazy stuff like that. But let's just get right into the actual weapons. So I'm just going to go down here so I don't mess up my classes. So we're going to start off with the submachine guns. We have the CUDA, a full auto submachine gun, steady fire rate with balanced recoil. You can see the stats below. Not a lot of damage, more range. Um, fire rate's pretty high also. Accuracy sort of on the low side, but it seems pretty good. And, you know, balanced recoil, so that's good also. So you know, I guess you don't need foregrip. I, you know, I we'll have to see. I never really use that gun. Um, the Weevil. Full auto submachine gun, large magazine cap capacity with the modest damage. Um, modest damage, obviously, look below, only has three little bars of damage, nothing really. But the fire rate is a lot. So it has sort of that crazy effect where you literally spray people down, but it's going to take a bit. But it'll happen. It'll happen eventually, so that's cool also. It's just, I guess, your preference. If you want, you know, slow fire but heavy damage or fast fire low damage, it just depends on your preference. Razorback. My personal favorite has four bars of damage. It's not that great with damage, obviously, but it's such a good weapon. See the range. The range is really high, and the accuracy is really high also. It's a really, really good weapon. Um, full auto submachine gun, best accuracy in class, ideal for mid-range engagements. It's really good. Now we have the Vesper available and stuff like that. I can't really read these because I'm not even at that level yet. Classified. So we have the Vesper and VMP. Um, we can just read the damage down here. Damage, pretty good for this. Uh, range, not that good. Fire rate's pretty high. So this actually could be a pretty good weapon. Um, fire rate's good. Damage is decent. Um, the only thing is the range. So we're going to have to see how that works. And then the VMP, sort of the same idea, except um, the, ra the fire rate's uh, decreased and the range is increased. So I think probably, I, I would think the VMP... Um, better all-around weapon than the Vesper, just by looking at the bars there. Um, has a bit of a lower accuracy, but still, it looks pretty good. Now, okay, my thing's going off with invites, dude. Now we have <laughs> the assault rifles, okay? We have the ARK-7. Full auto assault rifle, fast fire rate with moderate recoil. Not necessarily my favorite, probably because of the recoil, but it, it does. it is a good gun for the damage and the range and the fire rate. Um, it's decent, but... Recoil is just a bit too much for my liking. I think a lot of people's liking also. Man of War, fully automatic assault rifle, strong damage with a slow rate of fire. This this weapon, it's different, okay? Um, like I said, I'm more, I guess, catered towards the Razorback, I guess, because of my play style. Some, I have no idea, I, I don't know. It's just the way it is. But the Man of War, um, you have to have a certain play style. It's a really good weapon. It, it is. I'm not saying it's bad. But you just need to stay back and you can't push. If you push, you're not going to get kills. You need to stay back and get double kills from long range. Um, obviously, you can do, um, sh I guess, medium range. No way you can do short, uh, short range. Not going to happen. Um, you can do medium range, but you just need to make sure that you're far enough back to the point where you can get a kill and then get a double kill. Because usually what happens is I get a kill and then I immediately die. It just... It just doesn't work out in my favor. So Man of War is a really good weapon. High damage, slow rate of fire, good accuracy, really good all... Look at the bomb. It's all around. It's just amazing. It's all, almost all the same. Um, but, you know, it's just not my sort of gun. So that's that. And, um, yeah, let me just turn off my phone here. God. Um, HVK-30. Fully all max assault rifle, fastest fire rate in class. This is a gun that I thought was going to be bad, but I actually picked it up in multiplayer before. Obviously, you see um, I haven't unlocked it yet. It's really, it's actually really good. Um, so it, that's weird to think because you look at it, it's like the fire rate is so high. Um, but then again, the accuracy is high also. So it's not like usually when you have a high fire rate weapon, the accuracy is usually bad because, you know, you're shooting so fast and you're like, oh my god, it's going all over the place. But the accuracy is actually pretty good. Um, the damage, obviously, a bit on the low side, range a lower also, um, so I think mid, not, I would say just mid-range, I wouldn't say long or short, I guess maybe that's a problem with this weapon, but I would say mid-range, this would be a really good weapon, I probably should try this out, and then actually bring you guys some gameplay on it, but that could be a really cool, a good, <laughs> I don't know what I just said, the Shiva, this is Drifter's weapon, this is a lot of people's favorite weapon, um, semi-auto marksman assault rifle eliminates enemy infantry in two shots. Two shots. Literally only two. That's nothing. That really is nothing. 
Um, that's insane. Damage, really high damage. The range, pretty high also. Fire rate, low. Accuracy, around the same as the range also. Um, it's pretty good, except the fire rate. You need to, it's like the, like I said, it's like the FAL. It's pretty crazy. You just need to get used to it. MAA7, sort of low damage, high accuracy. It's usually what this gun is known for, really. Really accurate, three round, or I think, I think it's four round bursts. Um, so that's that. XR2, um, pretty all around also. Range and accuracy the same. And then the fire rate's a bit high, but damage is still good also. Um, shotguns, KRM-262, damage really high. Usually all these shotguns have the same sort of effect. Those two are classified. These are the only two shotguns here. This one, I would probably use Haymakers, like the S12 fully all max shotgun. That's pump action, probably more like the Remington. So basically the Remington S12, you pick your poison, I guess. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, <laughs> two classified here. Now, light machine guns, BRM. Fully automatic, light machine gun, strong damage. Um, again, all around there. Also, this one's pretty biased. You have the fire rate a lot higher than everything else. Damage range, um, pretty low. Accuracy is decent. Accuracy is like on the cusp of being like that mid-range accuracy that you want. Um, this is an LMG, obviously, so you do need some accuracy. So that's good with that. Uh, I would probably use the BRM, though, just because it seems a bit more well-rounded i think i don't know i just like well-rounded weapons um sniper rifles we have the locust and the dracon and then the po6 so we're trying to see a po6 damage is insane fire rate is like nothing um draken let's see range and accuracy pretty damn high so it's like one of those really oh it's semi-auto also okay so that's semi-auto so you just like stay back and you spam it and it has nice accuracy it's probably pretty damn good Locust, more of the quick scoping weapon, sort of like the DSR, but a, a bit harder to use, I guess. I don't know. The fire rate's pretty low still. Accuracy, range, damage, all the same. Pretty good gun. That's probably one of the best snipers in this game. And that's really it so far. We'll do secondaries in a different video, but hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And tell me in the comment section below what gameplay you want to see for any of the primary weapons, and then probably in the ne next video I do, I'll do secondary weapons, and we'll talk about that. We'll talk about specific pistols, what's the best pistol, stuff like that. That might actually be the next video, the best pistol, so we'll see. But like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe.